sheep. Pastor Jay here, but I prefer to be called blessed. Taking my roommate's dog out for a walk. My roommate's an atheist and so are her dogs. He likes to take a lot of time. He doesn't even poo or pee, he just sits there and stares at me. I can't explain it. And there's Pastor Roy's kid. He's staring at me too. The torment that that kid puts me through on a day-to-day -day basis. It's immense. See this right here? We got into a fight last night. He punched me right in the face. Just take your time, Cujo. Take your time. Today is haircut day for me. I'm about to go to Supercuts to see my favorite haircut lady, Tanya. She does talk a lot though. I kind of think she likes me. She's asked me out several times and I keep telling her no. And my excuse is always, I have too many girlfriends already. No, well that is true. The real reason is she's just not my type and she talks a lot. And I'm not a big fan of women with mustaches. Sorry, Michelle Obama. I'm getting my haircut. Today is initiation day for our new recruits. You see, every month we have an initiation. Anybody can apply, but only one person a month is allowed into our church. It's a very tedious process. We just have to filter out the weak. Because when you're fighting atheists, socialists, scientists, and people who believe in the theory of evolution, you have to be strong. And I have to look good. And I swear, if Tanya's not there today, I'm gonna be fucking pissed. You don't become a leader of a church by your smarts alone. Good looks are imperative. But that's not why I'm making this video today. I spent the last eight hours on YouTube watching NASCAR crash compilations and something occurred to me. The commentators talk just like atheists do. For example, there was a car driven by Clint Boyer who happens to drive the number 15 five hour energy drink car, got into a wreck and his car spun sideways, got up in the air, flipped and landed back on its wheels. Now most people would say the car flipped and landed back and landed back on its wheels. But what did Mr. Waltrip say? He said the car did a 360. Now I really don't mean to bash Pat Robertson because in my opinion, he's one of the smartest men to have ever lived on this planet. But the guy's getting kind of old, so he's saying a lot of weird things that's making us look bad, making us Christians look bad. And Mr. Waltrip reminded me of Pat Robertson today. But atheists don't have an excuse. A lot of them are young, a lot of them are my age, 19 years old, so they don't have an excuse to be senile. As I'm driving down here, I see atheists outside of businesses smoking cigarettes. I saw one girl by an establishment and she was also smoking a cigarette and she was holding what appeared to be a whole bottle of whiskey in her hand. This world makes me sick. This entire planet stinks. I wish the good Lord would let me live forever so I could preach to every last soul. But if I'm being honest, I don't want to spend an eternity in heaven with some of these people that I know and see. I hope God makes a mental note that when he builds my mansion in heaven that he puts it in an obscure location, so I don't have to be around all these vile people. There's no sin in heaven, but I'm sure that girl back there is gonna find a way to make sin happen. She'll corrupt everything that's good up there. I know it. That's another reason why I don't preach to her specifically. I don't like her. So what do I do? I'll tell you what I do. I preach anyway, because at least when I go to heaven and I face our good Lord, and he asks me what I did for him on this planet, I can say, Lord, I tried very hard. I really wish everyone could be just like me. I hope the person that we choose today in our initiation becomes another warrior for Christ. The storm's brewing, people. Clouds are getting gray, and there's just a general darkness upon our population. Now I'm gonna have to thank the good Lord because he promised us there would never be another flood, and that means we don't ever have to worry about global warming, asteroids hitting our planet, or anything like that, even disease. But we all know that diseases will only wipe out those who are sinners, not good people like the members of my church. And just because I'm getting a haircut, don't think I'm gonna be taking off my beanie anytime soon. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have great hair, but I have a tin foil that's in my beanie because somehow, some way, I need to protect myself from Obama and his cronies. Sometimes I, I, I ask myself, why God, why did you put me on this planet to suffer? And one day he answered me and he said, blessed Jay, you are a warrior. And I said, what about Pastor Roy's kid? He's, a, he's the only enemy that I cannot defeat. He's the only enemy that gets under my skin no matter how hard I pray. And God spoke to me in my head and said, that's just training my son, that's just training. See, you don't become strong by winning all the time. You become strong by losing all the time. So I'm proud of the fact that Pastor Roy's kid beats me up. I'm okay with that. It's just gonna make me a stronger warrior. So it looks like Tanya wasn't in today. She had a family emergency, which kind of boggles my mind because I pray for her every day. Not sure why prayers are not being answered. And there's, there's seagulls attacking my car.
Fucking Obama. I swear. God. Get. Get out of my. They're on to me. I, I swear. I swear upon all that is holy that Obama is watching me. Because where do those seagulls come from? What was I saying? Oh, so there was a new lady today. And she did not do a half bad job on my hair. But she wasn't very nice to me. I think, uh. I think she knows about my church. And. I, if I remember correctly. She's part of Pastor Roy's church. And although Pastor Roy and I get along incredibly well, we pretty much disagree on everything in regards to the Holy Scripture. And that's not okay. So we're friends, but it's a it's a rough friendship. And add to that his kid, who is a nightmare and a terror, and Pastor Roy never seems to do anything about it. And every time I complain to him about it, he brushes me off. I'll fix it, Pastor Jay. I'll I'll spank my boy for you. I'll take care of this. He will never harm you again. He will never lay a finger on you again. And guess what? I get stuck in a back alley with this kid and his cronies. And Malachi, if you're watching this, I just started taking karate classes. You give me a good solid two years and I'm gonna be a formidable opponent. I might not ever, I may not ever be able to hurt you or to defeat you, but I'm just gonna make life a lot more difficult for you. Anyway, the woman who cut my hair, she did not say a word to me. I tried and I tried. I even tried to discuss scripture, but I think we even have different Bibles between our churches. So I decided to recite John 3:16 to her. Jesus wept and she just looked at me like I was a potato. I feel as if as I was speaking to her, the words that I was saying were not getting through to her thick skull. And that makes me so so angry because I just want to be friends with everybody in town. They have to use my personal relationship with Jesus Christ against me. It's like we're fighting for the same thing here, people. Why can't we get along? Our churches are right across the street from each other, yet we disagree on everything and we worship the same Jesus. As a message to every single person that believes in Jesus out there, this is going to bite us in the ass one day when Obama makes his death camps and he decides one day to sign an executive order to chop every Christian's head off by way of guillotine. We're gonna look back at our differences. We're gonna wonder, why did we not get together sooner? Why couldn't we agree on what the Bible says? I'll tell you who started all this shit. Those damn Catholics. The first atheist. Nothing makes me more mad than a Catholic. If I didn't know any better, I'd say that Pastor Roy's kid was a Catholic. Anyway, I'm about to get back home. Plus, it's not safe to drive and talk on your phone. That one person that asked me a question a year ago about something I can't remember, I hope this video answers your question. If that person that I'm referring to is actually watching this video, stop emailing me. You do nothing but bring me down. Turn off your fucking caps lock button. Have a safe day, everybody. Unless you're Catholic.